Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do the weekly market outlook video for you guys this week with footies in full swing. Now I know I'm recording this on Sunday night. There was not a lot of content today on Sunday um, for the footies promotion, and that is kind of a bit underwhelming. Hopefully through the rest of this week though, we do get a good amount of content. I mean, today, was just it just felt like there was so much potential with the Copa America final game, uh, uh, that tournament final, the Gold Cup, the Women's World Cup final. There's a lot of stuff today where they probably could have released even like an SBC for a couple packs um, relating to the Copa America or the Gold Cup uh, or just those nationalities in general. It seemed like it would have been an easy thing to do, but we didn't get anything today. I think though today on Monday when you see this video go live. I think we're going to see multiple things come out on Monday, and here's why. That anyone who watch tradable and untradable upgrade SBCs go away, and so does the Dava the Wies. All of that stuff is going away in the next uh, in the next day. So I think we're going to get these. These are these. I think that these are going to be replaced. But the thing is, what are they going to be replaced with? I really, really hope that they're replaced with like an 82 plus or an 81 plus or some type of gold. Uh, an upgradable, repeatable SBC. This one was okay. It was all right. Um, the one thing that I do hope they don't do is I hope they don't do like a guaranteed foot birthday or, or a guaranteed uh, road to the final item as something that they want to do as an SBC from these packs this week. And I do think we're going to get some other type of flashback or re-released player of the month type of SBC. We will see that on Monday as well. So we should get some SBCs today and probably even another footies voting card. So far, all we've had is Lozano and Fred. Now, Lozano was incredible value for money. Fred, not so much. Um, go check out reviews on, on YouTube. I haven't really watched or heard anything about him. He doesn't just fit into my team. So I would make sure you can go and watch a review on that card. And if it is very good and you you know consult a few people and... Um, see if that card's going to be worth it for you before you just go out and do the SBC because it does cost you I think somewhere around like 160 to 170,000 coins. Yeah, foot oh my gosh, it's more than that. Footy's winner Fred is 200 245,000 coins right there for Footy's Fred. So that is expensive, might not be worth it, but I wanted to point that out uh, to you guys because I think we're going to be getting some more SBCs here in the next uh, in the next day. I think we're going to get some repeatables. Hopefully they drop like an 81 plus because the hype for footies was built up like the first couple days with Lozano, even with the Fred voting and the SBCs that we got, it was all hyped up and it was there and they were doing a great job. And now I just feel like it's really settled and it's just kind of, it's another promo. We just had a day of no content, a day of sweating in foot champs. Um, and all that kinds of stuff. So for the rest of this week though, it's probably gonna be that same up and down in terms of content. Like if they didn't have anything scheduled today, there's probably gonna be some other days headed up through the rest of this promo where there's not gonna be anything to do, you know? That's the way that I kind of see it. So right now we do have a few things to do. The, the weekly objectives are pretty, you know, at least they gave us a lot of weekly objectives and a lot of people are going out for these foot swap players because of the fact that they, um, there's some big time um, footies rewards is in foot swap. So that was pretty hype that they released all that stuff in foot swap, which is sweet. There's some incentive to grind the game for the foot swap players, but you can get these things done easily within the week. After people do that, you know, Monday or Tuesday, they grind for these players. Maybe it takes them a couple other days. You know, having some upgrade packs out there as well is something that people really think, I think they're going to need in this game and I hope that we get them. But Obviously this Komon card is gonna be coming out. A lot of people are gonna get this one, I believe. And obviously, I think a lot of people are gonna get this Danilo Pereira card as well, because um, I actually think that he, I don't think he's in packs, is he? He's not in packs, is he? Danilo Pereira, because that is a very easy link. Wrong guy. Very easy link to um, the Militao, yeah, he's, he's not in packs. I don't know why I thought that card was in packs. I saw a screenshot of Man of the Match items that were in packs, and that card was with it. Um, but that is a green link to Tellez and to Militao. So I think a lot of people are going to do that for a League of NOS team. The card looks pretty dope as well. So I think a lot of people are going to do that one. But again, for the rest of this week, 
I don't know what to tell you guys and other than that. Other than that is we, we're going to get some more flashback SBCs. I do think we're going to get some more repeatables. And I do want to talk about Thursday rewards. That is one thing that I did want to talk about today on this video is Thursday rewards. I am currently 17-3 and in the weekend league. One of my best weekend league um, starts and performances that I've ever had. Um, I'm playing some really good football this weekend. I'm going to try to see if I can maybe get to 23. It's going to be a lot of time. And some lost sleep as well but we will see on that and um, there's gonna be a lot more rewards that come onto the market this weekend so if you're somebody who's looking at investing in some of these cars that um, or if you're looking to even buy one for your team now we're going back over here to Footbin to look at some of these cards that are in packs right now like the foot birthday cards some of these cards are actually rebounded from those first couple days where they're in packs like Salah is 245k what happened when he first came out? I mean, he was down here at 215. Daily graph doesn't really show it as well, but he dipped down really low when the, when that card first, uh, you know, came back into packs. You know what? Actually, his 91 is in packs right now, isn't it? This 91 is in packs right now. So I don't know what the deal with, is with that Salah, but um, are any of these cards? I don't know which one is. In, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know which Salah is in packs. That was probably a bad example. But the rest of this foot birthday squad that is actually in packs, it's it's late, boys. I'm tired, all right? Cut me a break on that one. The rest of these cards that are in packs, like this Kyle Walker, a lot of people are going to have this Kyle Walker in their team. And since he is basically halved in price from 220K to 103, he's 110 right now, you're going to see another round of supply on these cards from Thursday Rewards when they get packed. You might see this card dip down to under 100K again which could be a fantastic opportunity to pick him up under 100,000 coins because after this next week, these cards are going to be going out of packs. I think it's through the 14th. I believe the best of packs is through the 14th. I could be wrong with that one. I'll have to check that date for you guys to make sure so we can know what's going on with these. But some of these foot birthday cards, some of the road to the finals that are very meta that people are going to use in their teams that are very good in this game, you're gonna see some of those cards definitely rise back out of packs, even though they had so much supply. I mean, if you go in here on the market and you look at the Kyle Walker, that's why I'm telling you guys, if you want any of these cards that are in packs right now for your team or as an investment that you think is gonna rise out of this out after they come out of packs, definitely wait until after rewards this Thursday because if you look at Kyle Walker on Xbox, like he honestly doesn't have that much supply for being in packs another time. This card was actually offered as a part of a foot swap as well. So that's, you know, that would make me think that his price could go down even further. He's still chilling around 100,000 coins. He is in packs. As you can see, there's multiple fresh ones up on the market. That one's actually been played with. There's a fresh one right there, though. So that's one thing to look out for if you have any of these foot birthday cards or if you have like a road to the final or a man of the match card that is in packs right now that you want to get in your team, I'll go down here to these road to the final cards um, because a lot of them have dropped big time as well. Like even if you want a Sterling in your team, you're tired of playing with like a the inform Sterling and you want this card, 138,000 coins. Watch for him to drop again on next Thursday with rewards. And if you want to invest in this stuff again, I still think it's a great opportunity to invest in some of these. Um, Cards like this Rebich. Oh my gosh, Rebich is up 10K, bro. He's 28,000 coins. He was 18K because these cards are rising back to their value that they were um, because of they were lower than the SBC player value. So let's go over here and look cheapest players by rating. So this is an 88 rated card. He was 17, 18K. I have a couple, I have one on my transfer list. I bought it for like 18K. He's now up to 28K, which is normal for an 88 rated card. And this card's gonna be out of packs again in a couple weeks. It's got insane stats that people wanna try out. So again, we're gonna to have to keep an eye on some of this stuff that still is pretty low, but it looks like all those thing, all those cards that were low um, because of their rating. Same thing with Jared Moreno, he was 19,000 coins, back up to 28, 29, just because of the fact that the, the discard level for a lot of those cards is a lot lower. So. I don't see too many of those investments out right now, but Serge Aurier's road to the final is 84K. He was 74K on Thursday. Watch this again on Thursday. 
If you see this under 75,000 coins again, I think that's a pretty good buy because you have the Davidson UCL card that a lot of people are going to shoot for from the footies promo. And of course, um, he is one of the better right backs in the game. And at a budget that this is, um, you can get a really sick card for 84,000 coins as a right back in the Premier League. This is kind of your, your new budget beast, I guess. He is now budget because of his re-entrance into packs. So kind of be watching stuff like that for this Thursday on rewards if you do want to trade with some things um, and do want to try to make some coin on a few cards. Now, one interesting thing that I do want to talk about is icons a little bit because I've seen some people trading with icons because, you know, right now at this point of the game, People have coins and they want to be using some of the best players in the game. Every week with rewards, those top tier players are getting a lot of coins because of the team of the season rewards still being a pack. So you see some of these icon moments being bought up in price. It get to be pretty expensive. That's not just with these icons. I want to talk about a little bit. These icons fluctuate a ton. It shows Hullet at 12 million right now. If you look at his card, we're looking in on his graph. 12.8 what has he been he has risen up considerably in these past couple weeks look at this he was 9 million this weekend he was consistently at 13 12 11 a lot of these cards have risen up a ton because more coins are just being influxed and pushed onto the market every week um, with rewards so if you're an icon moments person so watch these prices they're kind of interesting they're continuing to rise which is you know a little bit scary for me just because i think they're going to keep um they're going to keep going up until we get something that really really crashes the market and that's one thing that i wanted to mention here at the end of the video as well team of the week cards are still insanely overpriced some people have differing opinions maybe today on monday we're going to get a team of the week repeatable sbc that brings down the price of informs overall I want to take a look at this really quick. Gold informs apply filter. Look at some of these high rated informs. There's still 42,000 coins for an 83 rated inform card. You can barely see it right there. That's ridiculous, dude. That could be one of the SVCs that we do see this week. An 86 rated inform is cheaper than an 83. Unreal, dude. Absolutely unreal. So keep your eye out for that kind of stuff as well. That's going to cause a lot of cards to go down in the market. If you're trading right now, you can basically f choose any special card in the game that you want to choose. They fluctuate all the time in price because people are buying them. People have coins. They're making teams with these new footies players. And link, investment, list, link investing to the footies winners is a decent shot as well. You saw me have those Fabinho's on my transfer list. Flipped a few of those. He didn't go up too much. Um, it all depends on how good the SBC is. Footy's Fred SBC wasn't the best, so was, uh, the link investments to that card didn't really move much. But for Lozano, they went crazy because that card was very, very cheap, very budget, and he's got a lot of hype to his name uh, for FIFA. So that's why a lot of those investments like Dumfries, like basically any um, linkable player from the Eredivisie went up because people are using that Lozano card um, and you... Um, that card was just so everybody is doing that card because of his FIFA 18. I mean, how affordable the SBC was, everything like that. So, we're gonna have to keep a look on that kind of stuff uh, in the future. And I do think we're gonna get another set of footies players to vote on today on Monday in FIFA Ultimate Team. So, again, this week on the market, again, we're hoping for the repeatable SBCs, man. We're hoping for those repeatable SBCs. I do have a Rebich here for, I got for 16,000 coins. I'm probably just going to hold that and see what he goes to out of packs. He should go like back up to 40, I would presume. As he goes out of packs again, gets more rare on the market. People use his card, put them in their teams, whatever, yada, yada. Um, but again, market outlook for this week is hopefully we just get some sick footies content. That's basically what I'm thinking for, for the market outlook this, this week. Probably for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to probably, I don't know. The FIFA 20 stuff is going to be coming soon. We're going to be looking at some FIFA 19 year in review. We're going to do some ratings on different parts of the game. We're going to basically just kind of review the year of FIFA 19 as footies kind of ends. And then FIFA 20 stuff is going to be starting probably at the end of this month, early August. Start talking about stuff that we can get prepared for for FIFA 20 and get your minds right for a, you know, resetting the entire game and restarting the game 
like we have to do every year. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.